Hi right, guys, um, I just want to show you quickly how to reset or collapse a hydraulic timing belt tensioner. So this comes off a Plymouth Prowler that uses the 3.5 Chrysler V6. So this would then be all your 3.5 Chrysler V6s between 1998 and 2011. They would use this. Um, there's a whole bunch of other cars that also use this type of uh, tensioner. Uh, just show you quickly where it sits on this car. Just... So, this is specific to the, the 3.5 Chrysler. I'm lying on my back under the car. You can see it goes in there. And then it's got two bolts that hold it there. So it sits actually on the outside. Even if the timing cover is on, you can see, you can see that part of the the tension on the outside. So if you line your car, your 3.5 Chrysler, and you see this, and you wonder what it is, it's the tensioner for your timing belt. So don't play around with it. Um, but I was going to show you quickly how to reset it. It's quite simple. <clears throat> You'll see. If you want to focus, see it's got a little hole in the pin, and then it's got a little hole in the body. And at the back, it's also got a hole in the body. So what you want to do is you want to, it's quite obvious, you just want to push this pin back um, until you can put a pin through that hole and that hole to lock it in. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it in a C-clamp like this. And then you're going to clamp it down. I'm not going to do it now because I don't have enough hands. <clears throat> but you're going to clamp it down and then put the pin through. So when I've done it, I'll, I'll be back. So just bear with me. Okay, so I've now compressed it with the C-clamp and I've released it. So you can see I got the pin in. Through the pin there. And now you can install it back in the car, line up the belt and then everything is ready. You just take this pin and pull it out. Doop. That's it. Thanks for watching.